Hello there, my YouTube chums. Today you find me playing Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were-Rabbit, created by Frontier Developments and released for both the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox by Konami in 2005 to tie in with the film of the same name. I am playing the PS2 version. I'm controlling Gromit, trying to rid the graveyard of pesky pests, namely rabbits and squirrels. The main method is to try to herd the fellows into the mini twisters, but one can also suck individual pests into Gromit's bun gun and bounce them out again. <laughs> this second method may be slow, but it is fantastic fun. <laughs> Playing this somewhat overlucked little gem of a game puts me in mind of the last time our peacocks went missing. It all started one warm, lazy summer's afternoon. Arabella was busy in the kitchen, baking a bread and butter pudding, while Winston the cat and I were fully occupied catching forty winks in our armchairs. <laughs> our slumbers were broken by the ringing of the telephone. It was my old sports and science master, Malty Milburn, calling from our local pub, the puzzled peacock. Hello there, Bobberty. Fancy a tipple? Oh, by the way, the peacocks are at large. They're sauntering out of the beer garden as I speak. Oh, uh, thank you, Malty. I'll get straight on it. Cheers! Mine's a flacker's ruin! Ah, I, I was talking about the peacocks. Oh, no, 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 no. Never give a peacock a whiskey. Half a lager is more their poison. Um, I'll call you back. It was not the first time this kind of thing had happened. When nothing much is going on at Fortescue Towers, our peacocks take it upon themselves to wander off the grounds in search of a bit of excitement. Alf, the alpha male, always leads the way, strutting and sashaying along the winding country lane which leads to the village, in order to show off. They delight in flaunting their feathers, egged on by the gasps of delight of the enthralled villagers. On this occasion, we put into action a plan which had been masterminded by Bunty Norris. Still buoyed up, having successfully completed a computer programming for beginners course, and undeterred by that fortunate incident with the lawnmower, Bunty had used his digital wizardry to soup up his beloved bicycle. He had bought a GPS system and customised it to track the movements of the peacocks, having fitted a microtransponder to Alf's leg. Bunty's own high-tech device was secured to his bike's handlebars with sticky tape and string. Bunty could not fail in his mission to bring the pride of peacocks home. Knowing that Bunty was cycling that afternoon, I placed the call. Fortescue to Norris! Fortescue to Norris! It's time for Operation Ostentation! The peacocks are on the move! Over! Hello? Fortescue to Norris! Are you receiving me? Over! Hello? It's Bobberty! You need to put me on speakerphone, Bunty. We must round up Alf and his squad. Hello? Eventually we connected, and the information was relayed. Bunty pressed his muster button and was on his way. What could possibly go wrong? At first, nothing did. Bunty followed the blip on the screen of his gizmo and zeroed in on Alf, who was looking very pleased with himself, preening and pouting in front of his audience. The rest of our feathered friends, however, were nowhere to be seen. They had all wandered off in different directions, and Bunty was in a flap. <laughs> what was to be done? As per usual, the helpful villagers rallied round. Every garden chair was checked. Every shrub was shaken. Every pagoda was prodded. One peacock was discovered looking longingly at the pasties in the pie shop window. A few were spotted outside the ice cream parlour, finishing off some tutti fruities, <laughs> and two had returned to the puzzled peacock for last orders. <laughs> Those peacocks certainly know how to live it up. <laughs> in short, a thorough search of the village resulted in all of the fun-loving fowl being found and shepherded back to Bunty. <laughs> Arabella, Winston and myself stood at the gates of Fortescue Towers to form a welcoming committee, and clapped and cheered as Bunty cycled towards us like a peacockian pied piper, with the birds swaggering proudly in his wake. <laughs> a happy, or oh, perhaps that should be flappy, <laughs> ending all round. <laughs> mm, eh, not bad. Yes, maybe just one more go. 
I bet there are a few hiding in that cabbage patch. Ah. <clears throat> if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, tell your friends, like me. Until next time, this is Lord Fortescue saying Toodle Pipsy and Hello? Hello? My YouTube chums? <laughs>